or looks like it might feel in a work of art. Today we're going to go outside our homes, just like me, I'm in my backyard, and we're going to find different textures all around us. We're going to call it a texture hunt. It's not a treasure hunt, but a texture hunt. Texture, how something feels or looks like it might feel in a work of art. Textures can be soft, slimy, spiky, or hard. Glenn Alps was a printmaker who developed the Collagraph. A Collagraph is a print whose plate is a board onto which textured materials are glued. Look around you. What textures can you find outside or inside your home? Art supply time, you will need multiple sheets of paper and crayons without paper on them. Broken crayons are perfect. To create the texture, you pinch the side of the crayon and press and rub. Pinch, press, and rub. Here are some examples of outdoor texture. You want to look for hard and soft textures. Pine cones, small sticks, leaves of different sizes. Look for leaves that have a raised edge on them. Inside your home, look at toys, Legos, and any other interesting shapes. Surprisingly, shoes are great ones. Look at the soles of your shoes. I found some interesting textures. Time to experiment. Use your helper hand to hold your paper securely. Try out all of the textures. Discover which ones are your favorites. Which colors even work better for you? I love the blue. When you're experimenting, you're figuring out the colors that you like and the textures that are your favorite. Then you can decide and figure out what kind of picture, what kind of art you want to make for this project. You might have to have someone help you hold some of these items down so that you can create your texture rubbing. These are some rubbings that I took while I was outside. Take a look at your textures. You can turn your textures into anything. For this project, I've decided to take my outdoor texture rubbings and add some more items to it to turn it into something new. Can you guess what I'm making? I'm adding stars to the sky. That's right, I'm creating a landscape. A landscape is a picture of the land. You can see my mountains, you can see my trees, you can see my ground, and now I'm gonna add a moon. Here's the fun part. Now I'm gonna take my leaves and all my other objects, and I'm just gonna create something just for fun. Your textures do not have to look like anything. They can just be abstract. For this part of the project, I'm gonna make sure that if I put something on one side, I'm also gonna put it on the opposite side. This is gonna create an equal balance. Remember, your textures can be abstract. And I'm all done. I really like how this one turned out. I love that I can see all the parts of the leaf. And when you're done, you should have lots of examples of your textures. Reflection time, guys. What did you find challenging? What would you change? What was your favorite part? 